guys, this is John with Catfish Hunters TV. Today we're going to do a little walk around of my boat, show you guys what we're fishing out of. We have a 2000 Pro Line. It's got a cabin inside so we can get out of the weather if we're out there and a big storm pops up. That was a big, big reason behind it, also to get out of the sun a bit. I have a uh, Motor Guide XI 5. plug in for the power down here I have all the wires and everything running underneath to my anchor locker and then back underneath but it's the pinpoint so spot lock works really good you know being able to set waypoints set waypoints in your uh, head unit that's also really nice to be able to do so we have that hooked up with the NEMA 2000 and it goes to both the Lowrances to the NEMA so I can program them I have the front one here it's got my mapping card um, and it also with the NEMA it reads the regular sonar off this one this one over here so when we're dragging dead sticking I can look at mapping and I can also look at side scan down scan um, this unit here is a TI2 this unit here is a TI um, both of them are nine inch touch screens felt that was big enough I don't need you know 36 inch TVs on this boat won't be able to see driving down the river <laughs> so in here in the cab underneath we have the Dakota Lithium 36 volt, 36, uh, 63 amp hour. Um, got it all done up here. This is my power on. That allows that little bad boy to pop up. Tells me where my battery's sitting. First time I used the battery, first time I used it, we went out five or six different times and spent a few hours just dragging um and it it still was above 50 percent now the 77 you just saw um, that was actually the last time we went out a little heavier current um dragged probably about five or six miles total uh dragged back in chester frost park near here found a couple coves dragged out of that um kind of something i like doing lately is dragging it's, Fun, I think but yep and there's the lithium again plug in don't mind all the leaves so I really dig the Dakota battery yeah it was really expensive but with COVID didn't take vacations and stuff like that so spent some of that kind of money on uh, on doing some things to the boat the, um, the trolling motor, I actually traded an old boat we had for it. So out of aluminum, we built a little platform up here because as you see, lots of curves. Um, I'm still contemplating if I want to put something up under here. It seems really good. It doesn't really flex that much, um, especially now that everything's super tight up here. This is a, a motor guide mount. It's just an aluminum one. I didn't want to go with the, I believe it's made of starboard, um, but I didn't want to go with that one. Just saw videos of people using this trolling motor when I was doing my research on it. And, and all the trolling motors, when they use that kind of mount, and there's a lot of flex. And I was just worried about damaging my boat. So we had, the nav lights were originally in the center here. We took those off, installed some nice flush ones on the side. And then when I am anchoring, if I anchor, if there's an emergency and I need to drop an anchor, it'll, this allows me to make sure I'm center of the boat and then just tie off to a cleat or something along those lines. But that's my motor guide XI-5. So I keep a lot of my tackle down in here. Um, there is a spot down here for that holds two small boxes. Nothing's in there now. It's normally where I keep my skipjack stuff. Um, 
when I take the boat out skipjack fishing. Keep my bumpers here. Got a lot of different stuff in here. There's more bumpers down here. There's rope. There's some weights down there. Some dragon weights. Planer boards. I'm actually going to do a video on these. These are um, Parks Enterprise. Found them on Facebook. I uh, like the fact they have that hole drilled in the top so you can, you know, if you're dragging late, you can put a, um, a glow stick in it and you can see what's going on. And then in this one, I've got my wash down, which is right there. I've got some more planer boards. These are the original ones I started using. Some floats, uh, pliers, fishing line, all sorts of stuff in here. Of course, I got the sound system up here. Got my offshore radio on top. We've got a pretty nice antenna. So the app I use my tablet for is called Vessel View. Uh, it's a Bluetooth app that talks to my tablet and my phone and tells me what the Mercury outboard is doing. Tells me RPMs, how much fuel it's burning. Tells me how much fuel is left. Tells me all that good fun stuff. It also keeps me up to date on maintenance that needs to be done. About every year it pops up a checklist and you just kind of sit there and go through it. When it gets a little darker and you'll see it at the end of this video, I'll come out and show you lights. Uh, we have lights underneath that railing, lights over here. Got a little light down there. Inside, there's a regular white light. Everything out here is blue. Uh, we've got a white light up here, blue light there, blue light there, and then up front, I also have I have two more white lights. I use those for docking um, at night. Obviously, cat fishing, you do a lot of nighttime fishing, or you're fishing really early in the morning. Um, so, having these lights is really good when you're trying to dock. If you're trying to get into a marina to get fuel and it's late something along those lines having the, these lights and they don't shine super far out you can't see for a mile but you can see really good around your boat and that's that's what i installed them for so up top here i've got a place to store rods a lot of times i keep them down there locked up when they're not being used but they go up here i can hold nine um, there's also a spot underneath on both sides that hold three each I don't use it for that. As you see on the one side, I use it for my bumpers um, and my boat hook. And then on this side, if I have extra rods with me because we're out skipjack fishing, then I'll usually slide those in there. But I keep everything up there for, for the big stuff, the big rods. So when I got the boat, it had four rod holders on it. Just the flush mounts. And I, four of them's okay. And it worked for a while, Dragon. Um, but we got into where we wanted to add more. So we added some of these. These turn out to be really good. If you're wanting to dead stick or just, you know, suspend off the bottom, that one works great there. And that works like that perfectly. When I'm dragging, I have them set up kind of like the two of them are now. Got a little cutting board off Amazon a few years ago. Um, this is it. I like the spot it's got for knives and stuff. And it's also got a little spot holds rainwater if you don't put it upside down. But it's got a little spot where you can put pieces of bait, the gut, the gut pockets if you don't want to throw them in and chum the water or throw them in and feed the fish. I know I hear people talk about different things. Um, I do throw it in. I believe it's chumming the water. I know some people say, oh, you're feeding the fish for free. And I just think getting that scent in the water is what's gonna get the fish going personally. So I have four ugly stick big waters. I have two heavies. That's gonna be the six and a half footer and the eight footer. And then I have two medium heavies. And those are the two I kind of run straight out the back. And then I have four of the Big Cat Fever Striper Stealth Rods. Um, my boat, because of 
the rod holder type, you need gimbals for to lock the rods in. And everything I have has gimbals in it. So when I decided to go with them, the number one reason I went with them was because they had gimbals on the bottom and I could lock them into place on the rod holders. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. They don't do anything for me. So just letting y'all know, nobody sponsors me. I, I, I buy this stuff myself. Um, so what I'm telling you is what I'm telling you. So on the rods, I'm sitting with four of the Seagates, uh, two of the 50s, two 35s. The 35s are on the back ones. And then I have some Okuma Classics. Now the Okuma Classics I use are the 450s, I believe they are. And I like the extra room because when I'm dragging, and this is one of my dragging rods, when I'm dragging, I want to be able to get a lot of line out, get it away from the boat, let the planer board pull them out, or be really super far back. So that's why I went with the little bigger Okumas than just the smaller version of it. So I have one there on that one. I have one on here. So I have three of those. They're all on striper stealths. And then as I was showing you the pin fathom, I have the pin over here on the last striper stealth. And this thing holds, for being a 15, this thing holds a mile of line, it feels like. Um, but again, it's another good thing for when you're dragging, you want to let a lot of line out to get away from the boat and to get your baits pushed off to the side. Okay, so most of the hooks I use are going to be Gamagatsu. I ha do have some Team Catfish. Um, I've been playing around from other hooks. I really haven't had an issue with the Gamagatsu. And, I mean, they are a really good price. So, I use them. Uh, like I said, they haven't failed me. I haven't had any of them straighten out. Now, I'm also not going to tell you I've hooked into a 90-pound catfish. You know, I'm not going to tell you that. But that's mainly what I use when I'm catfishing. As you can see on some of the rods, there's floats, different kinds of floats. And some don't have floats. Okay? Not all of them, not all of them do. I kind of, I'll throw different things out. I'll throw some with floats, some without, just to see if there's a difference in bite. Different bait sizes. Just got to figure out, of course, what they're biting on. Everybody and their brother has a planer board now. Everybody and their brother has a different kind of float that they can put on. These I bought off Amazon, spray painted them and stole some of my daughter's purple glitter and put purple glitter on them personally i don't think they're big enough to hold the bait up like i like um, normally when i run anything on there if the chunk is any kind of size it comes in covered in mud um, which is telling me it's not floating it up off the ground so like i said i'm not really sure about those i tend to like the peg floats uh, or the football floats the bigger ones like the three inches because you know when you're catfishing you're fishing for big things and you're gonna have baits the size of your fist so you definitely want to make sure that you've got a float big enough to get it up off the ground so I put put them in a more upright so you guys can see how they set still spreads them out and this one's over just one extra click so gives you room to be able to reel while hitting this one this could be a little tight right here but I believe you can still get get away with it okay so for the back rod holders I found these on Amazon it lets you adjust you know so you can have have it fully to the side if you're dead sticking you want to anchor you can have both of them up and it moves around and locks into the gimbal in the bottom so you see what I mean about if I want to have two going the same way um, I believe the original thing that this was used for was running kite rigs when you're going for dolphin tuna stuff like that um, but it works out perfectly for what I need you know lets me have keep my one out the back and then I can either kick it to the inside if I want one down the middle for anchor fishing or I can go ahead and just lay it back not flat of course because you don't want your rod to pop out and then you slide the tool down in there and tighten it on up 
Now it also comes with this strap. So all I do is once it's strap, um, once I have it locked in where I want, I just kind of run it around my cleat. It's just the way I do it. All right, y'all. So it's a few hours later, not quite all the way dark out here, but dark enough for me to show you the lights. So those are my deck lights, those are the front lights for docking, I have those rear lights as well, and then if I'm really worried about y'all seeing the fish, boom. Obviously we don't use the white light very much because of mosquitoes. Alright y'all, so that's the boat. I hope you enjoyed a little look into it. Uh, we really like what we have with the cabin and everything. A uh, little limited, no live, no big live well or anything like that for for catfish tournaments, but it works out great for what my wife and I want. So thanks for taking a look at the boat. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the bottom and I will get back to you. Thanks so much. Y'all have a great day. Later.